What's up everyone, it's Prometheus, and today I'm coming at you with a brand new latte art tutorial, and this time we're gonna be doing the wave heart. Now if you're not familiar with this pour, it basically is creating enough motion in your drink to pull this wiggle all the way around your cup, and then we're gonna do a little heart in the center. Now this is definitely more of an advanced latte art pour, so if you aren't comfortable with your hearts, or even getting those ripples, definitely check out some earlier tutorials of mine and see how that's done. And of course, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I put out new videos every Friday. And now that we have our coffee ground, let's pull this shot. Remember, we wanna make sure we're doing all these things properly, even when we're just pouring latte art because the crema and the way the shot pulls is going to have a direct impact on the quality of your latte art. So make sure you're taking your time and handling this all properly. You want a nice even distributed shot, nice flat tamp, and we're off to the races. And now that we have our shot, let's steam some milk. Of course, whenever you're steaming milk, you wanna make sure you purge your wand, you wanna get all that moisture out so you're not putting it directly into your milk. And if you have any questions about milk steaming or still looking to kind of up your game, I've got a link to my tutorial in the upper right-hand corner right now. All right, so let's get started. So first things first, we wanna pour a base, but the only difference in this one is we're gonna do our base in this circular motion to create the surface movement that we need for the wave. Once we dip down and see contrast, start your wiggles, keep pouring until they're almost connected, and then start pouring your heart in the center. As you see both sides of the wave come together and meet at the top of your heart, continue pouring until your cup is full, and then pull through. And there you have it, you've got the wave heart. So let's look at this one time all the way through without any slow motions or stopping so we can get a full idea of what this looks like from start to finish. Now a couple quick tips to help you get this done. Make sure that when you pour your base and you're doing that circular motion, the bigger the cup, the faster the motion needs to be to get it to wrap. I'm pouring in a six ounce cup, so it doesn't take much to get that surface to spin. And that's a really tricky part of this pour. Also, make sure you're paying close attention to how fast you're pouring because it's very easy to overflow on this pour. So give this one a shot, and don't forget to tag me in those pictures of your pours on Instagram. And a big shout out to my March Patreon supporters, Ads, James, David, Ninja Warrior Coffee, Christopher, John K, Matthew, Squeegee, Roe, Brian, Robert, Lisa, Thomas B, Andre, Thomas S, Noel, Spookus, Bound Coffee, Mika, Samantha, Nathan, Aiden, Jonathan, Claire, and Steven. And of course, a big shout out to my barista and barback tiers. Of course, if you're interested in the Patreon, there's a link in the description and in the upper right hand corner right now. And of course, a big thank you to you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications. I put out new videos every Friday. Follow me on Instagram at Spermetheus for content throughout the week. My blog at Spermetheus.com. And as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy.